Cryptocurrencies have been one of the best things that happened in the past couple of years. They have not just revolutionized the world, but have also made a lot of people millionaires. 2021 is going to be a pivotal year for Polkadot, Ethereum, and Cardano. Hi Fixers, welcome to Fix Your Finances, Build Financial Wealth. If you want to build your financial wealth and fill your mind with the right information, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for us to provide you with more valuable content. In today's video, we will be talking about Cardano ADA versus Ethereum ETH versus Polkadot DOT. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. While each has its merits, competition between these three is starting to heat up as we head into mid-year. Alonzo is on track for an August release, which will bring smart contracts to Cardano. Polkadot is racing to finish parachain rollouts to enable on-chain governance. Ethereum is working on proof of stake with its proposed sharding scaling solution, which will arrive anytime in the following year. Let's start by talking about Cardano. It is currently trading for $1.34 per token. Cardano is a decentralized third-generation proof-of-stake blockchain platform. The Cardano project is a platform for smart contracts. The designers guarantee that it's an innovative product with remarkable usefulness. It was founded on numerous studies and scientific philosophies and positioned as a third-generation blockchain or blockchain 3.0. The principal work of Cardano is based on the algorithm of Proof of Stake, or POS, which is reportedly much more advanced than Proof of Work, or POW. The Algorithm of Bitcoin The Proof of Stake algorithm is used to operate the network, increase its stability, and protect the network from attacks. Currently, work is underway on the platform management model and a voting system. The POS algorithm gives more abilities to add and create another square to the blockchain to clients with more tokens in their record. This increases transaction processing speed by increasing the rate at which new blocks are added and found, decreases electricity costs for miners for electricity, and reduces the load on the network. However, POS isn't really an ideal algorithm. Suppose a particular group or user holds a large number of funds in a wallet. In that case, they'll be able to control the network mining, which would compromise the payment system's decentralization. But modern cryptocurrency payment systems are trying to combat this by adding an element of randomness while choosing a channel and different strategies to safeguard decentralization. ADA's main applications are in traceability and identity management. It can be used to simplify and streamline processes that require the collection of data from multiple sources. It can be used to audit and track a product's manufacturing processes from provenance to finished goods and eliminate the market for counterfeit goods. The organizations behind Cardano have already released three products named Attila Trace, Attila Prism, and Attila Scan. Attila Prism is marketed as an identity management tool that can be used to provide access to services. It can verify credentials to open a bank account or eligibility for government aid. Attila Trace and Attila Scan are being used to trace a product's journey through a supply chain. Cardano blockchain recently achieved 100% decentralization. The community's 2,200 stake pool operators are now entirely responsible for block production on Cardano's network. This will be a key differentiating factor for Cardano. Bitcoin reportedly relies on 10 major mining pools for 85% of its production. Having a more decentralized network means that nearly 51% of attacks can be prevented and other key risks cryptocurrency investors have their eyes on. The next one is Polkadot. It is currently trading for $35.97 per token. It was created by Gavin Wood, a core founder of the Ethereum project. He had differing opinions on the project's future. Polkadot is a unique POS cryptocurrency that is aimed at delivering interoperability between other blockchains. Its protocol is designed to connect permissionless and permissioned blockchains and oracles to allow systems to work together under a single roof. Its core component is its relay chain that enables the interoperability of variant networks. It also provides a parachains or parallel blockchains with their own native tokens for particular use cases. 
Polkadot differs from Ethereum as the developers can create their own blockchain while also using the Polkadot's chain security. This concept in Polkadot is called shared security. It can be called a scalable, heterogeneous multi-chain technology. It is heterogeneous as it is entirely flexible and makes no assumption about the structure or nature of the chains and the network. Many of the native parachains of Polkadot will be written using a Polkadot Runtime Environment SDK. The final one is Ethereum. It is currently trading for $2,767.39 per token. Ethereum is an open source, blockchain based, decentralized software platform used for its own cryptocurrency, Ether. Ethereum is not just a platform but also a programming language running on a blockchain. It allows for the creation of a variety of applications including tokens. Unlike most of the other traditional applications, they don't require intermediary services to operate. It enables distributed applications and smart contracts to be built and run without any fraud, downtime, control, or interference from a third party. During 2014, a pre-sale was launched for Ether, which had received an excellent response. Ether is like a mode of transportation for moving around on the Ethereum platform and is mainly sought by developers looking to develop and run applications inside Ethereum. Ether is used primarily for two purposes. It is being traded as a digital currency exchange similar to other cryptocurrencies. It is also used inside Ethereum to run applications and even monetize work. According to Ethereum, it can be used to decentralize, codify, secure, and trade just about anything. One of the biggest projects around Ethereum is Microsoft's partnership with Consensus. The project Ethereum 2.0 has already reached the top 30 in terms of capitalization. Vitalik Buterin opened a deposit contract to create a liquidity pool for the Ethereum 2.0 network on November 4th. Crypto investors have reserved 1.7 million ETH at the moment. The ETH 2.0 upgrade is not currently presented on rating resources because it will still take a couple of years before the network is fully deployed. They will receive a percentage of commissions for making transactions. The reward at the moment is estimated to be 8 to 13 percent per annum. The less energy efficient proof of work will be replaced by the proof of stake algorithm. Investors will also receive new coins in exchange for old Ethereum in a one to one ratio. Ethereum miners have around two years left before the network moves to the new protocol. The desire to receive a stable income from staking and a short payback period for equipment will keep the excitement around the cryptocurrency going increasing the value of Ethereum. The billionaire investor Mark Cuban revealed that he expects Ethereum's long-awaited 2.0 upgrade will spark the development of apps as the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market price soars over $2 trillion. Cuban expects the future upgrades to Ethereum will give some people a reason to use Ethereum as a store of value over Bitcoin. Cryptocurrency is a pretty inconsistent affair. If you look back at the top 10 from December 2013, you can find a list of predominantly unfamiliar tokens. Within just 8 years, 7 out of them have dropped into obscurity, which proves the statement that most cryptocurrencies, even top 10 heavy hitters, might fade away at some point in time. When it comes to which smart contract platform will stay, Charles Hoskinson remains pretty philosophical, saying, who knows? He said that this is a question for the market to decide. Hoskinson said that he prefers to talk about the topic from a different angle. Instead of determining which platform is going to win, Hoskinson focuses on actively working towards solving the problems that exist now. He believes that success is about making a difference, especially in developing countries. Cardano has a massive presence in Africa, which is a major differentiator between it and its competitors. He said the following about the problems in Africa. People in the developing world are shafted because their systems are terrible. They live in capital controls and corrupt governments and they live in areas where there's not good rule of law. And they don't have stable currencies and as a consequence no real good banking infrastructure, no good risk management infrastructure and so forth so they can't build wealth. He mentioned that it doesn't matter if the infrastructure runs on Ethereum, Polkadot or even Bitcoin but he created Cardano because no one else was addressing the inequality of wealth on a global scale. 
data analytics firm CryptoDiffer recently released figures that show the stake of proofing. Around $153.5 billion is staked across all the platforms, with Polkadot and Cardano being the most prominent with $25.43 billion and $28.95 billion staked. Meanwhile, on Ethereum, just $8.6 billion is staked, which accounts for 3% of its supply. This is mainly because staking, in its current form, requires users to lock up their Ether for an unspecified period. Developers are expecting withdrawals available around Phase 2 of ETH 2.0. However, this could be almost two years away. As of now, if we try to measure which platform has the most public support, Cardano is ahead of both Polkadot and Ethereum. Let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are on what Hoskinson shared in today's video. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at fixyourfinances underscore. See you next time at Fix Your Finances.